Thank you for your purchase of the flat wearable wire weaver. In this short video, I'm going to show you what comes in the kit and how to get everything put together. So you're going to get an insert here that li lists all of the parts and also photographs each one of the parts for your reference. Okay, these three parts are your clamp assembly. You're gonna get a packet of steel pins. These are the legs or the feet, also called standoffs. There are a couple of washers that go with the clamp assembly for the knobs there. These are the end plates for when you're doing loom work. This is the reed for doing loom work, and this is a wire comb for doing loom work. There are also two long pieces. These are your uh, supports for doing loom work. And then we have the base plate and we have the whole plate. So to put this together, we're gonna to start out with the feet. And you're going to insert the feet. Take these apart. There's little washers. There's little rubber washers that come with these. You're gonna take the screw part and you're gonna insert it into the whole plate. Sometimes things fit better on one side than the other, just because of the way the laser cuts. So if it doesn't fit well one way, just flip it over. Same with all the parts. Sometimes things fit better on one side than the other. Now you're gonna turn that over. You might wanna put that on to support it just so these don't come out while you're flipping it over. Then you're gonna put the rubber washer on the back side over each one of the posts. Then we're gonna take the base. Yours may or may not be engraved. That goes on next. Then we'll screw the base part on. The base of the, uh, the foot. Just hand tighten. You don't need to tighten any more than that. And that is your basic assembly of the unit itself. Uh, the holes here are for the pins and we have video tutorials on how to make things with your wire weaver on YouTube. Uh, the purpose of this video here is just to show you how to get things set up. So if you want to do any loom work you're going to install the end pieces <clears throat> with the crossbars. So you're going to put your crossbars in. Then you're going to 
going to put them into the slots on either end. If things are really tight and they just don't want to fit, you can always take a file on those little tabs at the bottom and just file that slightly because sometimes there's like a little burr on the edge with the laser leaves. Sometimes that's all that's preventing it from fitting properly. So that's what you're going to do to set up. If you want to do loom work, this is your reed that your wires are going to go through. And this is your wire comb for tightening everything as you weave. Okay. Parts are a thick acrylic, but you do want to be gentle, or you can crack, break the acrylic. So if you want to set up <clears throat> for wire weaving, you're going to need these parts here. Some of the kits will come with this type of knob, some will come with this type of knob. So I want to show you what to do. If you have this type of knot, knob, you're going to find that this plate already has the nuts installed. So what you do is you stack these three pieces together and put a washer onto the knob. Go through each of the holes stacked up and screw it into the back. Same thing. And then it fits into the jig like that. Best thing to do is to clamp this to your work surface and have this end hanging over the free edge because as you do your weaving with your wires, you want to be able to allow those wires to drop down the bottom and it's best to have a free edge for that. If you just don't have the ability to do that as you weave and your wires come down through here, just guide them up and out of the way or up underneath. So they, uh, they're they free to, to move and not to get scrunched up. So if you received these types of knobs here, you're going to insert the bolts. The bolts, you're just going to press them into the holes. It's a nice snug fit. If the fit isn't quite right, you. You need it to be snug. Again, you might want to flip the piece over. It might be more snug on one side than the other. You can always use a drop of glue to hold them in if over time they start to wiggle loose. You're going to put the bolts in and it's the same procedure. And stack the plates on top. And the washer. And then finally the knob. So your, your kit will either have the knob that has the bolt on it or you'll have the knob that screws onto the bolt either way. And it's the same thing. You're just going to install it at the end of your jig. So don't get confused. You don't get both of these systems. Uh, these clamp systems. You receive one or the other. Just want to explain uh, how to assemble both of them depending on which one that you received. And that's all there is to putting everything together. Be sure to check our YouTube channel for projects that you can make using your brand new flat wearable wire weaver.